This is The Scoop for Wednesday. I'm Sean Canan with the WMNF News Headlines. Here in Florida, Governor Ron DeSantis supports a proposal that would restrict what flags can be flown at schools and other public buildings. But critics of the bill and state Senate analysts questioned prohibiting flags that represent a political viewpoint. The bill stalled in a Senate committee yesterday, hours after the governor backed it. Under SB 1120, government agencies, public schools, colleges and universities would be prohibited from flying any flag that represents a political viewpoint, including any politically partisan, racial, sexual orientation, and gender or political ideology viewpoint. Debate has focused heavily on the potential that it could bar LGBTQ pride flags at public buildings. The Hernando School Board met last night to decide the fate of three books. Two of them, including The Kite Runner, were removed from schools, while one book survived the challenge. WMNF's Carrie Lynn Kwiatkowski brings you the voices from last night's meeting, supporting and opposing the three books. Three books have found themselves in the center of scrutiny, facing challenges during Tuesday night's Hernando School Board meeting. One of the books received retention, securing its place in the school's media center, while two have been banned. The day I can assure you that I'm not going to be the loser. I will get these books out of these schools because that's what I was put here to do. The banned books are The Kite Runner by Khaled Hassani. Kite Runner's violent incidents are many and graphic. That's by shooting, stoning, suffocation, severe beatings, and an attempted suicide. I re- read this book many, many years ago, probably when it first came out. And to be truthful with you, um, I learned so much about how um, in the Middle East, um, people don't think about themselves like we think about ourselves as Americans. The Kite Runner got removed in a vote of three to two. Also banned was the book, The Black Friend, on being a better white person by Frederick Joseph. So it's just common sense to take this type of subject matter out of these schools. There's nothing to sit here and argue about. It's just common sense. And I don't understand where we've gotten off to the point that we cannot even use common sense. In a vote of three to two, the book has been removed. America by E.R. Frank raised alarms regarding its sexual age inappropriate content, leading to an 18 and older warning label. The committee, however, voted three to two in favor of retaining the book. You don't know where they can go to reach something that they can identify with. And a lot of them don't talk. A lot of them don't get, search for help. Books like this can save lives in the right hands. And for that, I will agree to keep this in there. The debate surrounding book bans in the educational institution raises an important question about freedom of expression, curriculum choices, and the values we uphold in our communities. For WMNF News, I'm Carrie Lynn Kwiatkowski. On Florida's East Coast, dozens of students, parents, and teachers spoke out against district-wide book bans at a protest held outside the Brevard County School Board meeting last night. Here's the story from WMFE's Danielle Pryor. Almost 30 books are currently being reviewed after being challenged in the district, including a court of thorns and roses at last night's meeting. Outside the meeting, students like Brevard senior Anjani Sharma voiced concerns over the proposed bans. She says book bans are detrimental to student learning. I know that in books, you know, these authors highlight their own lives, but also lives of others that I would never be able to understand unless I read that. Eastern Florida State College junior Rosalina Rodriguez says she's upset many of the banned books feature LGBTQ plus characters and themes. Um, I know definitely for me, I definitely started off reading some books about those kind of things and that really helped me um, with who I am. After the hour-long protests, the students continued to speak out during public comment, but at the end of the meeting, the board still decided to remove the book by a vote of four to one. Board member Matt Susan expressed his concerns over some of the sex scenes in the book, along with the community's responses to the book bans. One week, we have a group of people that come in and yell at us that we didn't ban a book. And then the very next week, we have a bunch of people that come in and say, you banned the book. And it's just this seesaw. However, he says he looks forward to doing the important work of looking at books that have been challenged each meeting. In Orlando, I'm Danielle Pryor. It'll be sunny and warm today with afternoon highs in the low 70s. Tonight, partly cloudy and cool. Overnight lows will be in the high 40s. And tomorrow, partly cloudy and warm. Highs will be in the mid 70s. I'm Sean Canan with the WMNF News Headlines. This is The Scoop. 
recorded at WMNF Tampa.